Meet Ben Waddell, an overworked and sleep-deprived example of a science major at Ohio University. Waddell, a sophomore studying biology in the Honors Tutorial College, transitioned to biology, physics, and chemistry classes this fall after spending last year in media arts and studies classes with a much smaller time commitment. I did a terrible job of scheduling last year, and I scheduled my classes so I kind of staggered throughout the day, which is not good because then I can't have time to really study during the day very well, so I mean it's just pretty much jumping class to class and trying to eat when I can. Waddell spends about 20 hours a week studying on top of the 19 hours he spends in the classroom and time he spends working at Nelson Dining Hall. Okay, so I have uh, three lab classes, and two of the lab classes have exams, so that means I have a total of five class exams and then two lab exams, so seven total exams. But Waddell isn't stressing over his finals, holding on to the belief that switching to biology was still the right call. I think that a lot of people know what they're signing up for. I think most people know what they're signing up for when they're going to the sciences. Though he's doing well in school, that stressful schedule doesn't leave time for many other interactions during the week. In Step's girlfriend, Sally Sugar. I mean, we've been able to make it work. We live in the same dorm. We get to spend a lot of time together. Um, just not as much during the day, but usually for part of the evening. And then usually he will keep working into the night. Sally, a sophomore studying journalism, said she feels her boyfriend's pain. It's nice, and I feel badly because sometimes I feel like I'm the one who's more stressed out for him than he's actually stressed, but I, I mean, I know that's not true. He, he works really hard. And Sally isn't the only one suffering from Waddell's long hours working, as some of his friends have resorted to more creative ways to pass the time. Well, I try to fill in the time by getting really high and then playing Grand Theft Auto. However, some of Waddell's friends relish the time they can still spend with him. Meet Tyler Hoisington, a sophomore and former peer of Waddell's in media arts and studies. He's my neighbor, so I still see him, but he always seems to be hunched over his computer doing something, whereas I am walking around bored doing less work. And despite these hardships, Waddell can always say why it is all worth it. I'm just hoping that after four years of busting my balls, I'll have a nice marketable degree that I'll be able to enter the job market and feel really comfortable, find a good paying job, be able to support things.